in today's video the is instance built in function in Python 3. So basically, with the is instance function, we're checking the type of various objects. So we could take my favorite example of hey, and we could check if that's a string, and that'll return true. And we could check if that's an int, and that's going to return false. And those are the two outcomes. Is instance returns a Boolean, true or false. Uh, so if I wrap this in a list, this will return false. If I switch this to list, if I'm checking for a list, it's going to return true. Uh, what else could we do? We do a little object here, or a dictionary rather, and make this a dictionary, check for dict, and that's going to return true. So pretty straightforward. That's the is instance function. One lesser known feature of the is instance built in function is the second argument can be a tuple. So we could have both string and int in here. And this will return true because string is in our tuple. And you know, our argument is a string. And if I uh, made this say a list, well, you know, that's going to return false. But we could just add that to our tuple, and now it's going to return true. One last thing I want to show you guys is how I use is instance in a real life situation. Um, so say this was like a API response or something like that, and you don't really know what you're going to get back. It could be a dictionary or it could be a list of dictionaries, and you're going to have to operate on it differently based on the type, right? So in this case, our data is a dictionary. And so I want to check if it's going to be a dictionary or a list. And I think you know, when I run this, it's going to say is dict. Um, however, if this was a list, when I run it, it's going to say is list. And so this is super helpful um, when you don't know what type of data you're going to get back um, from an API, from a request, something like that. Um, you can check the type with is instance.